Hey guys, I just wanted to really quickly um, run through the guidelines for circle. Um, I will quickly on the evenings as well, but I just wanted to put it here just for anybody who isn't familiar with how circle runs, um, just so that you know what to expect on, on the night. Because basically women's circles are actually really breaking a social and cultural norm. And you know, whenever we're breaking a pattern at first it can feel quite odd but the guidelines for women's circles they really set up the space and the freedom and the acceptance for every one of us to completely step into our vulnerability and just be our authentic self without worry of judgment it's for like 10 minutes <laughs> a bit too noisy just Give me 10 minutes. So when we agree to step into circle with one another, each woman is agreeing to step into her full responsibility for herself. And the innate wisdom from within every woman is called to the forefront to guide and illuminate her from within. And so then the healing and enlightening power of self-reflection and heart-led sharing is just amplified in the space held by the group. We offer one another just that profound gift of loving presence, witness, unconditional love, and just complete acceptance. And so the magic happens when we're each given that gift of being witnessed and the validation that we each have within us, um, the ability to find our own answers and solutions when given that time and space to work through our thoughts and feelings. As women, when we share vulnerably from the heart and we feel seen and heard and feel that our feelings are acknowledged without anyone trying to fix us or solve our problems or to change us in any way, it actually raises our healthy estrogen, which is so important for our overall health, so many processes in the body. But the main one that I wanna mention is the fact that when that estrogen goes up for women, that's what regulates our cortisol, which is our stress hormone. And so it actually sharing vulnerably and feeling seen and heard allows us to come back into equilibrium and, and it balances our hormones and it gives us the strength um, to go from a state of overwhelm into an empowered place where we find our own wisdom from within. And that gives us the strength to, to keep going through our challenges. And so in order for this safe space to be um, created and upheld, we, we follow a particular set of guidelines. And we might stuff up sometimes, but it's just, it's just something to be mindful of so that we can all get the most out of this experience. So the first is that you are completely free to share whatever you want to share, whatever. And that it's also okay if you don't want to share anything. That is fine. That is totally fine. You may just want to listen. Listening might be where you get the most value out of the evening. And you're also welcome to pass and then um, call out if later you feel inspired to say something. And so in the Cosmic Alchemy Women's Circles, um, I've got a little golden hourglass that we can just pass around just to keep us mindful of allowing everybody a chance to share. And so it'll be about three to five minutes each, depending on how many participants. And so basically the woman who is holding the golden hourglass speaks without interruption before passing the hourglass on to the next woman. And so number two, we do not judge one another. So basically, if you feel like you are judging or becoming triggered by something, it's, it's on you to turn that back to yourself to see what is it within you that needs um, the light of awareness to be shone there. What's coming up? And can you just sit with that and just be aware of it? What's inside you? Not what's, what's going on with somebody else? This is where we really take 100% responsibility for ourselves. And this way, we are all 100% welcome to share vulnerably without any fear of judgment in this space. Just all emotions are welcomed without any kind of judgment of good or bad. So then the third guideline is that we refrain from giving advice, which can be very challenging um, because socially, 
that's what we're used to receiving and then often we end up in the pattern of just automatically doing that for others so this means no problem solving um, no suggestions no fixing or rescuing of any kind and this way we can just step fully into our innate wisdom and power and so the only exception to that would be if a woman did specifically ask for advice or input but once again that is led by her and really important to wait for that invitation or that cue so number four is that we give the speaker our complete and total presence and attention um, which can also be difficult in a world where we're constantly multitasking um, and we've got all sorts of devices that are often taking our attention but this often leaves so many of us um, feeling unseen and unheard so in the sacred space of circle it, it just fills up every woman's cup to to feel completely held and witnessed in this just pure loving awareness and so then the fifth guideline is that we try to speak from experience rather than ever just making generalizations. So what that might look like is using I statements. Like I feel that um, rather than just generalizations like all men are da 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 da. And so this way we can all have our experiences um, and all feel safe and accepted which brings me on to number six which is that we refrain from insulting or criticizing ourselves and others so rather than saying something like oh I look so fat in that dress you could say I felt really insecure about my appearance or instead of saying my mother-in-law is such a bitch we could say something like my mother-in-law just doesn't treat me with respect and so it just makes me furious and then our final guideline, so important, number seven, is that what happens in circle stays in circle. So everything shared is strictly confidential um, and just never to be shared outside of circle. And this way we just give one another the honor and the safety to just share our completely uncensored truth. And so while this might feel um, even a bit new and foreign to some, it just creates such a beautiful space um, that really just gets better and better. And so I'll leave it at that.